we're going to do a quick review of the South Band Stage 3 Endurance Clutch. I end up um, having to install a new clutch in the middle of doing a tune with that body. Um, you know, about halfway through the revisions, doing the wide open throttle pull at third gear, um, that clutch just starts slipping. Um, you know, I, I was able to still drive the car. Um, I don't daily this car. Um, but definitely if I got on it, you know, third and up, it just was gradually getting worse. So I called around, not a lot of shops, um, really wanted to mess with the modded car. Um, you know, they all said kind of, well, you go ahead and order it and uh, we'll install it. You know, you're probably looking at two grand and this and that. Um, and I would have to wait um, at a lot of these shops. Uh, so I just went ahead and uh, ordered the clutch, flywheel, and um, decided just to do it myself. Definitely a challenging task. If you uh, have done one before, you can do it for sure. Um, if you, you know, you need to um, just consider um, if something goes wrong with the install that you're gonna have to tow the car and have it help you out or have somebody come over, kind of thing. Um, you know, it's once you start, you're kind of in it, in it to win it. Luckily for me, it went uh, it went well. Right over the course of three days, you know, I didn't spend full days doing it, but uh, just how long it took to get back together, um, not too bad. With a decent set of home mechanic tools, you can you can do it. Um, so why did I choose the South Bend Stage Three Endurance Clutch? Um, well, pretty decent reviews. Um, not a lot of uh, long-term negative reviews of people that have had them for a while. Um, they, had, they had the options I was looking for. Um, I was looking for a clutch that could handle um, the torque, you know, that I am adding now and could be adding in the future. Um, and it just had the best combination for what I was looking for. Um, with the flywheel, um, a lot of shops I called mentioned, well, hey, you might consider keeping stock flywheel. Um, they, you know, and, and reading online um, with other people, it's a decent flywheel and it probably would have done well. Um, I wanted a little lighter option. Um, so I chose the South Bend steel flywheel. It's lightweight, um, 17 pounds, where the stock flywheel is like 24 pounds. And they're even lighter aluminum flywheels. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy. Uh, why I chose also a lighter flywheel, um, I want the car to rev on, come, you know, the revs to hit a little quicker, which is not so good for um, off the line because you can come out first and second really quick uh, where you're having to get into a different gear there. But second and up, kind of mid range, it's. it's really zippy. Um, RPMs come on. Bam. Um, there you go. Not too, you know, it's uh, not overly aggressive. Um, definitely more aggressive than stock. Another thing I like about uh, the RPMs revving quicker is they come off the revs quicker. So the heavier flywheel keeps that rotational boat, rotational mass rotating and keeping the idle up as you're coasting, say. With a lighter flywheel, just as it revs up quicker, it comes down quicker. Um, which I, I like because sometimes you need to get off the throttle and you want, you know, you might see the cops or you're, uh, you're looking to quiet the car quickly. And that, I don't know, I, I think it's kind of cool. And some other things with the lighter flywheel um, that are maybe a negative is that the first to second gear engagement is quick. Neutral to first coming, you know, at a stoplight, for example, um, the area of engagement's um, pretty tight, so you need to get get on that throttle and release 
flywheel for sure. Um, if, you're, if you do a lot of racing, you may consider keeping the stock flywheel, to be honest. Uh, but I don't do that. I don't, you know, I don't dump the clutch. I'm looking more long term and um, that's why I chose to stay in straight endurance with the lighter flywheel. Uh, I might track this car occasionally. issues. Um, went ahead and started to continue with the tune. Um, I was nervous to do that first wide open pull. Um, but uh, once I hit it, it grabbed and went like a rocket. Um, no slipping, no chattering. Haven't had any slipping issues throughout the gears all the way through six. Um, you know, it's probably, I've probably put 200 on since I, since I finished the tune. And, uh, no issues. It's a once you get used to it, it's a fun zippy clutch. Um, probably could, like I said, probably could have got by with the daily, uh, but I just didn't want to have to visit this situation again <laughs> so soon. All right. So all in all, I would uh, recommend the South Bend clutch. Um, stage three kit. Whether you choose the daily or the endurance, it's great. I would definitely consider a lighter flywheel. Um, but there again, you know, stock flywheel, probably fine for most people, I, I would dare to say. Uh, as far as the install again, definitely think about it before you start. <laughs> and make sure you have all the stuff you need. Um, and just be aware, um, you know, you might have issues. But, uh, you know, if you're mechanically inclined and have the right setup at home, you can do it. I would, I would probably, if I did it again, I'd drop the transmission. I'd probably pull the motor if I did this again. Uh, anyhow, it's a good clutch. Um, I really like how it's driving. And uh, good luck on your install.